Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the podcast where we talk about every item, every enemy, and every everything in The Binding of Isaac. I'm William Hughes, and I'm joined, as always, by a man who's paid to win, Gary Butterfield. Y- yes. Yeah. Pay me and no, win. No, yeah. If you pay, if you give Gary money, he lets you win at stuff. It's, it's like, watch Duck Stream this year. You will see me, Nick, and Brayton <laughs> slipping Gary fivers all the time. Yeah, and that's why I lose at all the multiplayer games. Exactly, Gary. Uh, Isn't this a fun bit of canon we've invented? The uh, But then I donate that money to charity because I'm a good person. I, so I know it's about charity and not about ego. What the fuck is so wrong with I... you? <laughs> Just take the money. <laughs> no. Yeah, you wouldn't even let money. yourself be a little right. greedy in this clearly artificial situation I've invented. <laughs> no, I, I'm good with money. I don't need... I don't need <laughs> I, I'm very low on needs. I'm good. I'm very blessed. Yeah, Gary's a lot like... The second I turtle. forget that, I become evil. That's okay. the trick. Yeah. I have to have it in my, the top of my head all the time. It's how I get into heaven. Gary, I'm um, the same way, except about being good. What does that mean? As soon as I think that I'm good, I'll be evil. That's why I think I'm no. bad. Yes. <laughs> no, same those way. words are reversed. <laughs> no. You got Freaky Fridays. Uh, I do those feel things mean the opposite of what you think. Like trying to sell you some yogurt and then talking yeah. about trauma. Exactly. You got yogurt traumed. And then do a sexy um, dance in True Lies. Oh God, I love yogurt trauma. Mm. Um, <laughs> Which is our nickname for Jamie Lee Curtis. <laughs> Look at that big, that tall stack of yogurt trauma. She can I get was, it. I would say she is probably the world's most famous and beloved Baroness. Ooh. Yeah. Baroness? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, other than perhaps the Baroness from G.I. Joe. Well, but real, but real, actual Baroness. Oh, okay, yes. And also, that Baroness is not so much beloved as belusted. I guess so. Whereas also, Jamie Lee Curtis she started out... Hmm? Go on, Gary. Started out very belusted and then transitioned to beloved. Not saying that she's not a handsome woman now. Saying that now it's more of a respected thing. You know? I remember when Jamie Lee Curtis was the hottest shit on Toast. Sure. I mean, I could still muster yeah. some lust for Jamie Lee Curtis, I think. Yeah, yeah, M- lust, lust muster. It's another issue of lust musters. Uh-huh. The, uh... Where we muster lust. Yep. Uh, w- respectfully uh, muster lust. Yes. All right, let's do it. Princess die. Can you muster lust? I can't. No, I just think about that horrible car wreck. Uh, I just think of her horrible politics. Yeah, Gary, elaborate. Tell me everything <laughs> you know about Lady Die's politics. They're shallow. Sure. <laughs> uh, she cares about landmines. Okay, so that's our two sentences on the... On the list I don't know what else I need to say. I feel like that tells the whole story. She had she like, has why, a very why, shallow much, concern about landmines. Much like James K. Polk, I see no reason to run for a second term. Mm-hmm. I I have established my my point. I've achieved all of my goals. Gary, do they uh, ever establish where uh the Baroness from GI Joe is? Where her barony is? I don't think so. I don't know where anybody comes from. On Cobra? Okay. Sure. Now, all the G.I. Joes, like, come just from America, it feels like. I, I like, believe it's, like, places. canonical that Cobra Commander is from, like, Ohio. Yeah, it, it, but nobody acts like it. Like, uh, is, it's, I, it's, I think, yeah. like, in the comics, they established that he was, like, a like an Amway guy. Like, a, a multi-level marketing <laughs> scheme guy who got real ambitious. <laughs> real ambitious. I gotta, man, I gotta read those comics. Uh, I love Cobra Commander. But yeah, yeah Jamie Lee Curtis being a Baroness is, like, my favorite stupid fact. It's uh, it's awesome. Good for her. Good I mean, she her. married into it, you know, just like Lady Die. Yeah, just like me someday. Because Christopher Guest is a Baron. Yeah, uh, and also what what a what a catch. Eh, you know, Christopher Guest I, seems funny. I, you know what, he did dress no? up like the the weird Doctor Boskodnovich or whatever from Tekken one time. So sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Will their family loves Tekken. <laughs> <laughs> they're a Tekken family, baby. That's what, actually, fuck it. That's my favorite Jamie Lee Curtis fact is that their family it, loves Tekken. The thing about Jamie Lee Curtis is that there's no end of great facts about Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah, there's a She's lot amazing. Of She's amazing. Maybe not her yeah. politics. Who can say? Who knows? But that's why we can muster lust. Mm-hmm. Uh, what, uh, I do have a bit for this week, but I'm going to save it. I also have a couple bits for this week, so I'm excited. A couple bits? I, I have two, yeah. 
Okay. Sorry. Well, I'll save mine. Gee, you you save yours. Aggrieved. No, no, I was just worried about getting through the week with so many bits. <laughs> yeah, me too, man. Every morning when I wake up. Yeah. 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 Uh, how are you doing? I mean, one of these days we should record right when I wake up so you can get that guy. Oh, man. I can't. <laughs> like, I'm looking forward to it. Like, cranky? Or is it like cat- catatonic? Like what flavor uh, of? It's catatonic. Yeah, it's catatonic. Okay. He's in a lot of pain most days. Okay. Uh, and uh, yeah, just like, just kind of, it wouldn't be good podcast, but it might be good psychology. It might be good friendship. What uh, what you're in pain most days? Oh, I, I you know my back hurts when I wake up. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. My back and shoulders tend to hurt quite a bit when I wake up, and then I drink. The juice. Juice. And then, and then Gin. Everything. What? Yeah. 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 I, then yeah. I have just three quick gimlets and I'm ready to go. Yep. Yeah. Just, just rum and drowns and toilet gimlets. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, feel better for the day. I have a Gary, old sometimes, secret snack. Sometimes I have a G and T hold the T, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the I've tits. been known to have a G and T hold the G. Um, you just have a tonic. What my fiance does. Oh. Yeah. Just a tonic. And then she holds the G. Um, that, I oh. mean, that being horny, I meant like sweet, but it came off horny. No, it, like Gary, I'll tell you, I wasn't thinking of it horny. I was thinking of it like the Pieta. Oh, nice. So you're I like, like you're dying in her arms and she's just holding the G. Yeah. Holding the G like the end of Romeo and Juliet. The, uh, we're talking about spin to win. Gary, if I Can hadn't we? already done the bit before, I would send you the picture <laughs> of the face I just made. <laughs> <laughs> It's like I, it's I like genuinely could... the face I would make if I if you if we were driving in a car and you just busted a fart. <laughs> I like that I positioned myself as Juliet this scenario. Yeah, um, I've got a lot of uh, Capulet qualities. So Gary, we we're uh, fucking up here because this is the most interesting item of the week, and we're we're faffing around a lot. We're faffing. That's what the thing that makes me nervous about bits. Um, it's interesting. But, I, but Gary, I the other don't... two items are nothing. The other two items are like. Barely oh, anything. I think uh, Giant Cell is interesting. Spoilers. Spoilers. Oh, it's more, uh, It's a classic guppy battle. Yeah. <laughs> yep. All right. Uh, this is interesting. I, I really hate it, though. This is uh, I was, to win. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is neat. I would say, like, it's, you know, we always fucking talk about the space, but I like the space this plays in. It's part of my, like, oh, yeah. developing thesis that Repentance is secretly the Isaac Melee expansion. I, I like that too. I've just never gotten this to work ever. Uh, oh, yeah. I always just hurt myself and it, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not efficacious enough to be interesting because I, I just get hurt enough when I use it and then stop using it. Like, yeah. Uh, this is one uh, of those Isaac items that is highly dependent on what other items you've picked up. Uh, yes. So what this does, this is a top. So yeah. I'll, I'll explain this in terms everyone can understand. Uh, this turns you into Mega Man 3's top spin. Yes, or a Beyblade. Do I need to say anything else, or do people just know what the top spin in Mega Man Three? How that is? I bet you people don't. Well, these, uh, is 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 the ignorance and smell of our listeners really my problem, Gary? Uh, you're half right about the. Um, I, I guess technically, this show. If there's one thing this show <laughs> exists for, it's to address ignorance. If, if you if you didn't want to uh, them to smell, you wouldn't get your will musk all over them. It's true, Gary, and sell it in, little, bo- in little bottles. Gary, yeah. what if just we adopted as puppy the nickname... just chugging will musk? Hmm. Uh, what if we adopted as the nickname for our listeners ignorance, <laughs> <laughs> like a planescape concept? Well, like, I, I'm, like, saying, like, I'm like, saying ignorance like... ending in nts, not ce. But oh, okay, got gotcha. you. Not like the ignorance. I like that too. Like bro. we have to do this for the ignorance. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I'm, I'm I'm very into that. I think that yeah. might cross the line. It's mean. It's it's it, genuinely mean. I think it's mean, and also, uh, I mean, I don't know where you fall on this. Like you're down on yourself, except for in weird ways that you're super proud. So I don't consider myself to be uh, less ignorant than our audience. Uh, I'm a pretty ignorant I, person. I. Also, don't consider you to be less ignorant than our audience. Yeah. See, but yeah, so it wouldn't work for you, though, because clearly you've got trivia that they don't own. So, <laughs> I have a lot 
the trivia, Gary. Did you, did you hear all those facts you, I know about Jamie Lee Curtis? Yeah, yeah, you can't be ignorant if you know that much about Jamie Lee Curtis. Um, that's the opposite of ignorance. She went to the Warcraft uh, premiere in full war- orc cosplay. She's so good. We don't deserve her. Lesser politics. Muster and lust. Politics might be bad. And I don't think they are. I think they're good. But I could I be wrong I think they might that. be like real center liberal. Are they? Okay. Um, that's about the best you can hope for of a, a lady of that generation, though. Eh, Susan you know, Sarandon. unless it's like Meryl Streep or Susan Sarandon. Yeah. Um, so this, uh, not this to get into that fucking thing where Susan Sarandon is held up as the reason I, the, the 2016 election went the way it went. I, I had no idea the entirety of us politics rests on the soldiers of this shoulders of this, uh, one actress. Yeah. Um, so this is a top, I mean, she's already got two it. very heavy things resting on those shoulders. Mm. Muster and lust. Is that gross? Yeah, but gross. it's great. It's gross, but put them in my face. Um, <laughs> oh, no, the- <laughs> muster less, please. Muster a little less. <laughs> I can muster less. It's a one-way ratchet. That's, how, uh, this I, is that's a top. how I order my hot dog, by the way. This I is go, a top. <laughs> the uh- <laughs> I haven't put everything on it, and then I go, mustard less. It's a top. <laughs> and they get really it, it's an active item. <laughs> it's an active item. Because you can't just scrape uh- it off. <laughs> it's a top and uh it, it charges itself it takes three seconds gary screaming <laughs> while looking at the pride parade it's a top <laughs> that's a i did top. good and that's a switch. i recognize yeah uh the uh i hope my neighbors uh who are moving out right now hear me just screaming it's a top yeah um the uh you can't spot a top just by looking at them. that's a common misconception uh the <laughs> now i'm the ignorance <laughs> exactly i i, I outmaneuvered you what with the sex talk um the uh so this I, the the I charge runs down sex. and the top that's around you spins around it makes all of your other orbital familiars spin much faster uh yeah it also increases isaac's speed pretty significantly yes uh enough to where it can break the speed cap yeah so you're so basically you activate this uh, and you are now running around the room uh, trying to get close but not too close to enemies so that your very fast moving familiars, which get a big damage buff, will uh, tear them down. So if you have like human yes. meat or this also gives you a familiar that also does. Contact yeah, it does damage. the thing. You want to have as many as you can. You want to have big fan and guardian angel and cube of meat and like as many of those things as you possibly can. Um, uh, yeah, it's it really for- good at blocking shots like you'll never get hit by a bullet while yeah. this is going but that move very fast barely be under control and not bounce off things you know like a top does yeah but instead like crazy taxi combo like get close to things without hitting them is just uh too fiddly for me yeah no uh, this is definitely fiddly uh one thing i think is really interesting uh this affects blue flies and spiders uh so it ups their damage and and they don't die while you're using this that's really cool yeah. So if that, you've got that a run good. that's generating a lot of those, this is very, I think this is very efficacious there. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I just haven't gotten it to work real well for me. It's a cool Same. idea though. Same. I do like it uh, as an idea. So Gary, uh, if people, are, are we good on this item? I feel like we said what it does. Uh, I, I think we, I think we did more than our due diligence on this item. Um, if people like the show, then go to patreon.com slash duck feed TV. Yeah. And uh, give us some dollars. I, and, yeah, I guess leave a review. I feel like I didn't do a good job this episode. Uh, no. No, I feel like I did kind of bad this episode. Do you want to talk more about Meryl Streep's tits? Will that make you feel better? Or it, shouldn't Saran his tits, sorry. Yeah, Gary. I, for whatever reason, our culture has decided that one of those things is kind of okay to talk about, and one absolutely isn't. <laughs> <laughs> and it's weird that that's the case, but it's true. <laughs> it, is, it is true. Oh, what, a, what an absurd country. Uh, yeah, you leave a ring review. We can also not do them this week. I don't give a shit. No, I got, I, I got uh, them loaded. I got, a, I okay. got them loaded. That was mostly just me. <laughs> that was mostly vamping. No, okay. <laughs> while, while you pull it up. Yeah. Uh, like this review left on Podcast Addict. If, if my cat Cookie will stop bumping the phone. Uh, she's on my lap. Oh. Uh, left by Parakeet Larry. In February, I got married after eight years with my partner. Unfortunately, she was strongly considering divorce by the summer. Why? Well, she found out I don't, I don't actually think Avatar by James Cameron is the best movie of all time. 
This was a lie I had said so many times for so long that my wife couldn't believe me when I told her it was just a lie that I repeated to spark conversations slash upset film nerds. I'm just like Will! <laughs> a very good review. Thank you, Parakeet Ray. Is that you from the future? <laughs> like, yeah. uh, the, the, uh, that's this a, dark power, that's this a powerful, ghost, annoying lie. Yeah, ghost of Christmas future Will here. Yeah. Um, the, uh, here to, to save you from a dark path. Yeah. Uh, or to tell me how funny it is to go down it. Good night. Good night. No ghost. No ghost. Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the Binding of Isaac podcast that covers every item and trinket and character and boss and floor. In the Binding of Isaac series of video games, my name is Gary Butterfield, and with me as always is a uh, guy who wrote Johnny the Homicidal Maniac Eulatitis, Will Hughes. Gary, that started like you were being chased, and then you realized halfway through that you were just been, <laughs> yeah. it was just someone. I didn't want to get there. Yeah. No, no I, I realized I was, I was being chased. And then I realized that uh, I was running into a blind alley because I didn't know how to make a joke about this item or how to pronounce it. Yeah, so I, so you went with, I'm going to, I'm going to go the safe route and make a fairly tortured Johan Vasquez. Jonan Vasquez reference. <laughs> I don't think there's anything tortured about that. That made perfect sense. Oh, have you seen that? Um, <laughs> He man, he's dark. That he is actually, that is he, adult shit. He actually seems pretty uh-huh. dark now. Like, oh yeah, yeah he's fine. Yeah, he, he seems like a guy pretty. who, in his twenties, was like, "I'm gonna do the darkest shit I can," and then in his thirties, was like, eh, "I'm gonna keep doing that." But now I have yeah. some, you know, perspective. Yeah, now it's it. funny. Well, before we get into it this week, sure, Gary. Can I get can I get my bit out of the way, Gary? Please, uh, get your bit out of my fucking way. Uh, I wanted to follow up on several weeks ago when I accidentally sent an email to Megan Arndt uh, about our top badge for everything to Guppy on Wisdom. Yeah, Gary, can you give me a little previously on Guppy? Uh, previously on everything to Guppy. Uh, hey, uh, what, okay, I'm emailing. I'm saying, dear Megan, how can we spend Wisdom Coin? Is this an NFT thing? Love you, Gary. Oh, shit, I hit send. I hit send. Fuck. You know, Gary, I could, you could have just had me edit it in. Literally, there's oh. audio I could edit it in there. Uh, no, well, I was so trying is, to save you work. <laughs> thanks, uh, bud. Uh, just to recap for the listener, uh, Gary gets a lot of very stupid offers uh, from companies. Yes. Uh, from people who just kind of web troll us while knowing nothing about us. Yeah. Uh, you know nothing of like, our work. <laughs> trying to like find like very shady monetization things for podcasts. Yes, that have somehow stumbled upon a landmine that is everything to Guppy in a, in a way that would like absolute Wishmaster reporting for duty shit. Uh, you know, as you wish. And then uh, Gary, we, in his infinite wisdom, sent an email to one asking for Told her I loved her. Yeah. Um, on accident. So uh, she responded, uh, and it was, it was a little while afterwards. Uh, Hello there, Gary. This is not NFT. Mentor coin is wisdom's virtual coin currency think of it as a loyalty points program for creators if you host a great conversation it's like getting a cup of coffee on us and it's just the beginning we want wisdom to be the place you come to monetize your expertise uh so i want to talk to you will a little bit about monetizing our expertise expertise mentor coin converts 600 mentor coin for five dollars and we earn one mentor coin for every 10 minutes people spend listening to our live talks that we host so basically they're asking us to give like ted talks here or something right or- yes you and i giving ted talks and for every minute someone listens we get a mentor coin and then we can cash in 600 mentor coins for five dollars yeah gary i mean yeah. i so i think we just have to figure out so do you think we're having to provide the expertise or is this like uh the akewood strips, <laughs> read where, strips. where mr bear has a script uh, he does scripted <laughs> mensa talks about like i, I don't remember, like vegetables and things like that my guess, based on how much we'd be joining uh, the amazing and growing family of wisdom, mm-hmm. uh, is that we would be pr- providing content so, uh, with our top badge. And we get 500 wisdom coin uh, just for signing up. I mean, Gary, that, as far as I know, 
is about four fifty. Well, I that's mentor coin. Oh, fuck. I don't know. I don't know what wisdom coin is. Yeah, they didn't give you a conversion rate. So Gary, there's no conversion ask, rate. Like my my instinct is to ask you what you would give your talks on, but you your compulsive need to turn everything you know into content means that that is yep. already out there. Yep, it would be uh, compulsive talks on my father. Sure. Um, the, <laughs> like, welcome to this TED talk on Gary Butterfield Senior. Like I'm um, genuinely thinking about the things you love and the things you make podcasts about, and whether there's any light between those in those gaps at this point. Oh, like something I really, really like that I haven't talked about. Yeah, that you haven't made a podcast about. Oh, I'm sure there is if I think about it a lot. A long time. Maybe. Um, <laughs> if I spend quite a bit of time, uh, well, there, there are there are things I don't currently podcast about. Shh. Well, yeah, I like but reading you did in the past. Like your body is yeah. like. 60 percent by Wonderland. volume content now man that's true i uh so i don't talk about tabletop games right now i, I, I i've Gary, brought it up i've never had a show right, we're gonna have to get right now off the table if you've done a podcast okay. about it you can't do it for wisdom talk <laughs> okay uh is is it if i can't brought if i haven't brought it up on a podcast uh it's or <clears> i've done a podcast me. about it done a podcast about it okay uh action figures okay yeah Get on that Yokai Customs yep. action, apparently. Yep. I was going to say Chernobyl, but we just did our podcast about that. Yeah, you fucked up. But I, I yeah, I know. I, I, well, <laughs> I'm, I'm out on upwards of a hundred wisdom coin yeah. or mentor coin or mentor bucks um, or whatever that can be used uh, for gift cards on Amazon or Starbucks or on charities like Habitat or Humanity or Special Olympics. Oh, you love according that. According to this email. You love that. Yeah. I, I do. I'm going to give my little TED talk on action figures. How do they work? And then donate 600 mentor <laughs> coin to the work. special Olympics. Yeah. The left leg can move. Then the right leg can move. Can I make it look like I'm walking? Yeah. This is a point of articulation. This is what's known as a ball and hinge joint. Uh, and uh, here are special Olympics. Enjoy this 20 cents. This is Scorpionok. He turns into a scorpion. <laughs> yeah. And this is Scorpion, the main character of Farscape. Primary villain. Although some could argue that he's the deuteragonist. I would argue that. Gary, are you going to um, ask me what my topic would be? Yes, I would. Please ask. Oh, uh, <laughs> there are vampire rules here. Uh, what is your topic? Eating pussy. What would your topic be? Eating pussy? Yeah. Shit, dude, can I guess? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I've read you. I, I learned I, a thing or two, man. Page. No, thank you. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, the, uh, hmm. Anywho, I just want to give everyone an update on the nonsense we've been getting. Anywho. Anywho. <laughs> Anywho, my Yelp page for pussy. Uh, five stars. Gary, yeah. how do you feel like that it bit went? You, do, you don't, you don't, you know, I, I tend to have a higher bit ratio than you do. So I want to know what the bit oh, is. Oh, 100%. Well, here, can, uh, you're asking me a question and I'm the, the genie's curse that I've been on under my whole life means I have to answer it honestly. Uh-huh. Uh, you put uh, this and there's there's no qualitative. This is a good thing. It's sure. going to sound like I'm dragging you. I'm not. Uh, you put more work into your bits okay. than I do. Like you come up with the bits and you'll do like prep. Like you'll and even if it's just prep in the shower while you're shitting or whatever, you'll like think of stuff. What? Uh, Gary? No, <laughs> no, bad, wrong. <laughs> like you do. No, like you're like no, here. Here's Gary. I'm not. I'm, I'm not questioning whether i do prep i'm questioning whether i shit in the shower <laughs> no, no shit or shower you said when you're in the shower taking a shit <laughs> <laughs> well i really regret having you cats at that one time <laughs> well it's Those pipes I had were never a lot the of same. a lot of freelance plumbing um the uh so you you'll put work into it i don't really do that so i just kind of hope that it will go somewhere and sometimes it doesn't. I just thought this was funny on the face. I don't feel like I brought a lot to this bit. No, I, like, I just think it's funny that I got this email. Gary, I, it's I also I'm not actually asking you to evaluate the bit. I'm asking you to evaluate your experience doing the bit. My experience is the bit partner. Whether you feel like the bit was honored. Oh, I do. I think you did a good job, and I thought it was fun. Thank you, Gary. I I I liked the bit. To be clear, I just wanted to. I, I'm just looking for my own, you know, Yelp page. Uh, you know, yeah. did did I did I lavish proper did, attention on the bit did you and i, I take, tag team I, that bits pussy uh one after another oh, Gary, clit lick in usa i was trying to keep labia's spread 
from sea to shining sea. Mm-hmm. You and I, I was, do- see, that, dove in. That bit I wasn't wild about because I was going to try to be a little more subtle about the doing the bit oh, equals okay. eating pussy thing. But you just kind of you kind of just went for it. Huh? I le- hey, I I love thinking about eating pussy, dude. I I just I it's an intrusive thought. That's something I haven't podcasted <laughs> yeah. about. Yeah, and that's something, that's something I have. I could yeah. It's ableist of yeah. me to call you out on it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Gary yeah. vasculitis. This is. I'm amazed that this item didn't pop up sooner. Yeah, me too. Uh, it seems it's, like a real basic I, concept. It's a very basic concept. Uh, it makes enemies explode into bullets when you in, into bullets. It looks like that one that makes you explode into bullets when you get hurt. Yeah. So I never take it because I'm like, oh, it's that that shitty thing. I'll re-roll it. Or I'll, so yeah, you know. so very clear. Uh, when you kill an enemy, they uh, fire out a little sixteen tier explosion of bullets. Uh, that also one to sixteen whatever. tiers. Ah, so depending on their health. Yeah, there we go. Oh right, yeah. right. I apologize. Yeah, that's okay. Um, they do uh, da- the damage is set per floor. It goes so uh, it's never going to be overwhelmingly good. It does have your tier effects though. Yeah, your status effects specifically, yeah. Your status effects. So not, uh, you know, homing and stuff, but like if you got poison tears or whatever. There you go. So this will help you clear rooms. It will not do much of anything to bosses. Yes. It's pretty minor Uh, overall, I would say, this effect. There's a reason it's a quality one item. 100%. We're on quality one week, basically. Uh, it's, it's like, um, that item we did last week or that, uh, the red biohazard item where it's like good for clustered up flies. Yeah, basically. You know, uh, but that's really it. Which is not that so. often the problem in Isaac. Like this feels like it, well, it helps you solve a problem you don't have that often in this game. It, well, it's a problem that drops off. It's a problem that in the beginning of the game, you'll go into a big, like two by two room that's huge and is full of flies. And then that, that room just kind of stops showing up. Yeah. You know? Uh, yeah, no, nothing to be excited about. I don't care for this, yeah. particularly. Uh, Gary, if people enjoy the show, what should they do? Um, you go to patreon.com slash duckfeedtv and cash in your wisdom slash mentor coin. By the way, let's, um, let's, let's say the, the, you know, the, the important part of don't actually engage with this company in any way, shape, or form. They seem real scummy. Oh, yeah. Be, yeah, be cool. Hey, we, we don't usually have to make that you know, thing here. Well, but, just yeah, just cool. don't get ripped off. Just don't get ripped off. Yeah, don't yeah, don't get ripped off. Uh leave them alone, but also keep a distance. This is not a place of honor. Um I did find that email by searching wisdom and I was surprised to find it being the only time it popped up. And like Yeah, I Gary, said, you're expecting more more praise like people just <laughs> randomly emailing like Gary, you know, I know you make a lot of jokes on the show, but I really yeah, do your wisdom your stat wisdom. must be eighteen. Yeah. yeah. The um yeah, I was expecting that. It didn't happen. No one's Sadly. using charm on Gary. No, 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 no. My will saves are huge. Hey. Uh, hey, hey. Hey. Um, and then uh, you can leave us a rating review on Apple Podcast or Podcast Addict if you want to. Yeah, like this one left on Podcast Addict by Gary par- Parenthetical Parody. Any reviews not clearly marked as parody that mention no jizz or unable to jizz or jizzless will not be read. Five loads out of five. Ah. Uh timely unable to just unable to just <laughs> i'm just reading that in a robocop voice mm-hmm. oh, poor poor Do you know that he jizzes that baby food he eats oh man and the other cops eat it i did know that no he eats it it's a he's a closed system yeah but other cops have tried it well every time they do that though they're reducing the sum total of the baby food so he gets a little hungrier they, they said and then they replace it with their own jizz from like a port I mean, they do that to like get the volume back up, like their teenagers sneaking their families their 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 mom's vodka. But that's why Robocop yeah. is so much weaker in the third movie is because so much of his fuel has been replaced with run of the mill cop jizz. Yeah, he got he got a a jetpack, but he lost all of his guns. Yeah, he's basically useful. He's useless. He just like observes crime now, and calls another cop. And so basically, he's just a cop. Yeah, he's he's a uh, he's a security card. He's an observant report. Good movie. Yes, yeah, this is a good movie. Uh, good night. Good night. As well. No ghost. No ghost.
Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the podcast where we talk about every single item, every single enemy, every single everything in The Binding of Isaac. I'm William Hughes, and I'm joined, as always, by a very large Dragon Ball Z villain, Gary Butterfield. Hello, I'm Celery. It's just Cell. His name's just Cell. I know, but it's short for Celery. It's not? It totally is. They're all named after food. I And one's I, an instrument. I don't think... The, the the very serious Dragon Ball Z villain Cell is named after Celery. Why wouldn't he be when there's a very serious Dragon Ball Z character named Piccolo? Well, he's the but that guy of becomes the good. That guy becomes good. What does that have to do with how serious they are? I'm just saying uh, that when I look up Cell Celery, all I'm getting is pictures of the cells of Celery, Gary. You're talking about <laughs> well, your ass. I, well, let's uh, no, 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 no. It's finally time to determine who knows more about Dragon Ball. Sure. What yeah. what ve- what vegetable uh, is Goku referencing? Huh? Uh, go cucumbers to the poles. Go go go, go cucumber to the pole. So Gary, uh, I do want to. I have I had two bits I was thinking about today. I kind of wanted to okay. do, do one of them at least. Uh, yeah, do do one. Save one for next episode because next yeah. episode is interesting. But there's not a lot of text to it. Sure. Uh, so Gary, we'll start with the the less uh, morbid of the two. Uh, Game Ooh. Award nominations came out today. You excited? Hell yeah! Yeah, the, I love the gamies. Yeah. So Gary, uh, I don't want to go through the entire list. I just want to do the categories. Just kind of get your commentary on the categories that you're are you're most likely to have some thoughts on. So okay, uh, Gary, I'm looking. I'm looking obviously at the start. You think? Uh, Blade or Bisca is going to win for best esports coach. I my my brain says Blade, but my heart says Bisque. Gary, does it does it help if Blade is spelled B one A D three? That of course is it Andre doesn't, doesn't Blade Horodensky. That's for Natus <laughs> Vincere, Counter Strike Global Offensive. Oh boy, but some one of the guys' screen name is Bisque. It's Bizka. I like that quite a bit. It's like I think it's supposed to be Berserka. Oh, I, I like that way less blade. Uh, BZK capital A. Of course, that we're talking about Mateus uh, Terrasconi. Uh, that's the coach for Loud. They play Valorant. Oh, and that is a game, a shooting game. Of yeah, some a kind? Ga- it's a game where people do shooting. I think. Uh, okay. It's one of those uh, first of games. Course, okay. They're going up against some stiff competition, though. You know Doom Bros is in the mix. Gary, okay, here's yeah. the game. Spell Doom Bros for me. Doom Bros? Okay. Yeah. Uh, D? Uh-huh. Zero, zero. Correct. Okay. <laughs> um, M? Yeah. Uh, can you uh, Doom pronounce it Doom Bros or Doom Boros? At Doom Bros. Okay, Bros. Uh, B. Yes. R. Uh-huh. Uh, zero Z3. Oh, Gary, I'm sorry. Oh, I really, I didn't know that. I didn't think that. No, it was just, it's it's just Doom Bros, but with zeros for O's. Uh, yeah. I overthought it. Yeah, and no capitals. Uh, no capitals. No capitals. Of course not. What, yeah, what, are, what are they? Now, now, uh, that's Eric Sandgren, obviously, who coaches for FPX. Sandgren. San- yeah. I mean, that's just a name, Gary. Don't just make fun of a guy's real ass last name. <laughs> what a stupid fucking last name. I bet you his family <laughs> Gary, sucks. No, they have chosen names to make fun of. They're- yeah, but no, the, his real name, I, I would choose a different name if my last name was Sandgren. <laughs> Whatever, Butterfield. Butterfield's a great name, man. <laughs> sounds yeah, awesome. Yeah, if you want your kid to grow up to be a podcast clown. <laughs> a fat podcast clown thank you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right you want your if... kid to be teased by gym coaches who are adults so gary here's what i have a question about okay so this is robert dalstrom uh who's got the umlauts over the o and dalstrom uh obviously uh what a clown. Robert, robert's coaching for phase clan also counter-strike global offensive uh okay Robert's now, is that a shooting? Is, that's a shooting game. That is a shooting game. That's Counter Strike. Okay, that's, it's the same okay. as Counter Strike. People have been playing for twenty some years. Okay. Uh, Robert's handle is Robba in. So R O B B A and then capital in. Is that supposed to be Robin? 
Rub it in. Rub it in. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It, it like sounds like a reggae these, accent. Like, are, is it? Is there a racism happening? Yeah. Here? Where's the joke? Like, or where's the wordplay or anything? Yeah. Huh. And then, and then Gary, uh, you can't count out. You cannot count out. Go Dong Bin, uh, who oh coach, sure coaches for Gen G. That's a League of Legends team, and uh, and of course Go Dong Bin uh, goes by Score. Just spelled Score. Score's a pretty Score. Score's a pretty good out of all these. Like that's the most. I judge these based on whether they'd be good Shadowrunner names. Sure. Yeah. And like Score or Phase or something. That's great. Well, that's Phase fine. is the name of the the. The claim. Yeah, I, I, I'm judging I, all the I names. think Blade, but it's B one A D three is a pretty good shadow. That, that's pr- that's pretty good. I'm still just mad about Raba in. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> I don't care for Raba in. And Gary, that I, was uh, the, and that's all I have to say about the Game Awards. The Game Awards. It is uh in one of the other categories. Uh, Nibelheim was uh, nominated, so there's finally somebody in that category I'd heard about. Best doomed like, hometown from a Final nope. Fantasy game. The uh, that <laughs> keeps losing for some weird reason. Yeah. There's a lot of competition in that category. You wouldn't think so. Uh, he was like a Twitter guy who like broke game news, who cool. like publicly quit. Oh yeah, but he's just uh, like yeah, somebody. Nibel. You know, Nibel. yeah, yeah, Nibel. Yeah, yeah. Um, that guy's nominated for a thing this year. Good, good for so that. It was just weird to see somebody I'd heard of. Like I was like, oh shit. Yeah. You know, El- Elden Ring nominated for best narrative. Hey. Hmm. <laughs> Also, uh, everything else. Like, yeah. George yeah. is going to get an award for that, you know, 500 oh. word story he scribbled on a napkin. The, uh, I, I, uh, I love Elden Ring. I think she win a lot of awards. I don't know if I would give it that one. Yeah. Um, but the, uh, I also haven't played like tons of games this year though. Yeah, it's true. So, uh, it hasn't been, the, hasn't been a year for it. A lot of cool stuff has come out, but I don't care. I've, uh, you know, been busy. Yeah, uh, it's got defensive. Gary's trying to sell. Uh, what's it do? <laughs> I'm incredibly defensive. Uh, this makes you have weird growths on your face. And when you get hit, you summon a tiny little Isaac who will go around and chase. Like, it, basically, you get a tiny little uh, Colin Robinson that crawls onto the cavity of yourself. Sure. Chases enemies around and attacks on their own. So uh, and you can get tons of them. Weirdly, spoilers? <laughs> I guess it kind of. Kind of. Uh, you can get a lot of them and it's kind of kind of interesting. Like, I don't think this is good either. This is also we're in the quality one week, but uh, you make a little, little independent Isaac avatar that goes around and plays Isaac around you. Yeah. My favorite thing about this is that they're called min Isaacs. Yeah. Min Isaacs. Um, yeah. You can have a lot of them up to 16. Uh, uh, they're, they have uh, not a ton of health and their health decays every second. So. Yep. Unless you get hit and then they get their health back. Which oh, is interesting. Yeah, that's cute. Like, yeah. ultimately, this is a, a get power when hit item, and I tend to find those. Yes. Uh, and one where if you just get hit once, you get a little guy who gets killed in one shot. Who yeah. cares? Like, like, it's it's not very interesting. The Yeah, that's the thing, is the place where I'm most likely to get this is in, like, the hush fight or the beast fight or something, where there's yeah. so much fucking shit on the screen that yep. it just, it's not, it's not very additive. It can just block some shots. Yeah. And that's it. There's an item in uh, Enter the Gungeon called Turtle Problem, mm-hmm. where you just get a little turtle that follows you and it just multiplies. It doesn't do anything. It can just block shots. Uh-huh. And that that item is weirdly effective uh, because of the rhythms of that game. This would be, this is like the closest analog to that, but just less effective because it, there's a lot more shit on the screen. Yeah, I still think. It happens more rapidly. rapidly. It's not as much about dodging as like density. Gungeon is still game. the best straight place for us to go after the show is done. It is. It is the closest. Yeah. To this. Like, we're not going to talk about every hammer in dead cells. We might, you know, I mean, we live long enough. Can you imagine like we get to the point where we're like 65 and we've just run through all the other roguelikes. Gary, I literally can't imagine getting to 65. Thank you for asking. I I think I will get exactly to 65. I think you will. Yeah. You're healthier than I am. Yeah. I, I try to be, you know, I, I, I enjoy living is a big part of it. <laughs> me, um, me too. Yeah, hey, me too. Personal news, me too. personal news. Yeah. Personal news. I enjoy living. Uh, I'm going to, the, I'm going to the dentist on Wednesday. I Do built up the to, courage to face my greatest fear. Do you need me to come and hold your hand? Nope. Uh, I'm going to go by myself you. and cry. <laughs> the, Gary, I, uh, I, I am hand. terrified. At the, at the dentist. I'll, I'll hold your hand. 
I am afraid that you would be there and I would laugh and it would cause the dentist to stab into my like soft bits. Like my palate would get wrecked. I mean, Gary, the whole point is your palate's already wrecked. I mean, more wrecked, wrecked with like immediate damage of like sharp implement. Fair enough. You know? Yeah. Um, not wrecked through like disease, which is the good way. Yeah. Gary, I'm proud of you. Thank you. I, I, I am, uh, really scared. Uh, it has been causing a lot of anxiety in me. Uh, and I am, uh, but it's just wanting to live, get married, you know, absolutely like in love on a level I've never been in my life. I would like to live, need to live. Yeah. So this is, this is part of the cost. Me too. So, yeah. Well, I hope you do come to the dentist with me. I I offered multiple times. No, I mean, get, get dentistry done. Oh, (laughs) (laughs) like, yeah, I meant, I meant while the dentist works on me, I'll work on your mouth. Okay. Yeah. That's Uh, that's how that works. Uh, And then you work on the dentist's mouth and then it's a closed system. We're all getting dentistry done. Yeah, it's it's just like RoboCops come. Uh, yeah, like Gary, RoboCop, people, pass it to the left. Mm-hmm. Gary, if people enjoy the show, what should they do? Uh, go to the dentist if you haven't been for a while. Yeah, go to the dentist. If, if I haven't I, been since the pandemic started. If if this if it's I can do it, and I'm a coward, and it's the scariest thing in the world to me. You can do it. This is the coward um, but Gary Butterfield talking. Yeah, if if the coward Robert Ford can do it, and the coward Gary Butterfield can do it. No one has list. ever been dragged by a movie title worse than Robert Ford. <laughs> <laughs> like the absolute piece of shit, Robert yeah. Ford. What a horrible shootist. I wish that title was longer. <laughs> well, it should be like, I wonder how it translates into other languages. <laughs> so do I. Like, the yeah, like, <laughs> of, uh, God, who's, who's he? Fuck, uh, uh, James, yes. Jesse James. Jesse James. By the outlaw. By the, by the, <laughs> by the, the coward absolute. Robert Ford. Whose dick don't work no more. <laughs> yep. The small bald coward. The small bald coward, uh, Robert Ford. The asymmetrical ball man, Robert Ford. Um, he's got one that's a Min Isaac. Uh, Patreon.com slash DuckFeedTV. And then also ratings, reviews, on Apple Podcast or Podcast Addict. Uh, like this one left on Podcast Addict by Mike Hawk. This is a very entertaining podcast. Hours and months of entertainment ahead, of, ahead for new listeners. Dark self-deprecating and scatological humor awaits you gary talked about surprise trips to record the podcast he mentioned a by the hour hot tub place i saw a psa from a nurse about a eh, you know what end of review that one's too gross to read Maybe feel bad. <laughs> oh, oh. feels like it feels a little bit like it's punching down on a person who doesn't need punch down on so i'm no. good i uh i was just thinking about my mike hawk how it sounds like mike hunt you know, but you're saying cock in a real, like, haughty way. Like, my yeah. hawk. But you can just my say my cock. cock on, you can say my cock on TV, though. My cock. My cock. It, it, like, it, it only makes, it makes you say it like, uh, Alfred. My cock. My cock, Mr. Wing. It does make you sound like, say it like Alfred, Gary. That was very, that was a very trenchant observation. No ghost. Thank you. No ghost. Hello! Welcome to Everything to Guppy. It's the Binding of Isaac podcast that covers all the trinkets in the game of the Binding of Isaac of series of video games. My name is Gary Butterfield, and with me as always is a man that your kid could draw, Will Hughes. Yeah, it's just, it's all circles. It's all Mm -hmm. circles and beard and uh, sad, sad eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very sad eyes. I just don't sleep enough is the thing. I'm actually quite happy. I, 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 I thought, noticed that about you, that you don't sleep a lot. Eh, you, know, you know, it's too much like You're that. always up, like, I, like, check in with you. I'm like, how are you doing? And you're like, I was up real late playing a video game. I'm like, man, I used to do that. Now I can't. Well, Gary, I don't have kids. Well, you're also, <laughs> like me and my my brood, my yeah. rugrats. I also, uh, I always forget, you're a little younger than me. I'm a little younger, and also I've worked nights for the last eight years. Not, not like, oh. real nights, but I work, you know, yeah. until 10 p.m. most days. That'll That'll do her. Well, do her. I'm the nights and weekends guy. If something breaks on Saturday, I'm the one who picks it up.
Mm -hmm. And by something, we mean Jay Leno's face. It's trinket time. Sunday, Monday. Trinket. Days. Tuesday, Wednesday. Trinket. Days. Thursday, Friday. Trinket. Days. <laughs> uh, FYI, we're recording this on... Uh... Moments after it broke. Yeah, on beep, what is beep, what's beep, the beep, next day? Beep, November beep, 14th. Uh, Jay Leno has not currently died from his gasoline fire <laughs> from accident. a car blowing up in his face yeah <laughs> which yeah <sighs> it's a funny Dork. sentence about a sad thing it's it's sad in theory it, gary, um gary i'm gonna go ahead and say <laughs> that jay leno has done nothing bad enough in life to merit being burnt by gasoline no, it's just a real death by misadventure. Like being like, I'm the dork who has a garage full of classic cars, and then you're out there, and one of them blows up at you. Yeah, or like you die from diabetes. I'm not made of stone, you know, or I wouldn't have diabetes. Yeah. No, it wouldn't be like diabetes. It would be like me dying of eating pussy. It's when I drown in a pussy. Touche, Gary. You have a uh, yeah. Again, it's you're... it's a thing you're in. Th- you're enthused about not something that would naturally happen. Like Jay Leno dying of diabetes would be just as likely. Well, no, but uh, I would, I would argue that you're somewhat enthused about candy. I, but not to the level that Jay Leno is about cars. Yeah. But to the level that gave you diabetes. Yeah. But not to the level that I am of eating pussy. <laughs> okay. The, uh, you know. quick Google, Google, Google does eating pussy give you diabetes. <laughs> All right. I'm going to Google real quick. Does Jay Leno eat pussy? Oh, I bet he does. Let's, uh, let's find out. The, way he talks uh, the about Harding Rapus. Working Square and Show Business from GQ the way he uh, talks is about the first. Rapus. Oh, tonight's show. <laughs> tonight's show with Jay Leno porn search on XNXX.com. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and not. Let's, In, I'm going to say don't International push. dick and pussy pleaser Sarah J takes British banging in her MILF pussy while eating out brunette New Zealand babe Audrey Black. This is nothing to do with Jay Leno. The fuck? Uh, it's, well, it's, it's her last name's Jay. That's how the, the SEO got to yeah. Gary. Uh, uh, I, I, I was joking. Who's international dick and pussy pleaser? <laughs> is Austin that, Powers. Is, is that someone being poetic or is that someone really trying to game the algorithm? Oh, I don't know. Like, I, that, I like to is, think is that, that they an earn... effective SEO phrase. I guess is where I'm, where I'm I, trying to. Think I like that. to think it's an appointed position. Sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because it was elected. Yeah. It, it, oh, yeah. The uh, in residence. Yeah. Um. If if it were elected, then I'd have a lot of work to do. Um. We're of course talking about kids drawing today. We are, Gary. We can get rid of. The, we get through this one pretty fast. I do have another game I want to play with you. So uh, it's a. Yeah, like this is a really a cool idea. I think I <laughs> I like this trinket. I I also um, like it's uh it's one of the tainted unlocks, which means that if you you, you can't have to look do at a any thousand of those, things to get it. Yeah, you can't yeah. look at any of those in terms of like is this worth it? Because none of them are worth it. They're not designed to be yeah. worth it. De- defeating four of the hard you know four bosses with tainted lost, who is one uh, of the hardest characters in the game. Yes, tainted lost uh, sucks. Um, but it's a little drawing of, of Guppy the cat and just acts as one of the Guppy items. As long the as you're holding the trinket. Yep. It acts as one third. So you only need two Guppy items. That's, that's so cute. It's, it's, that's, very, a, that's such a good effect. Yeah. Like, uh, trinkets usually do not touch the transformation system at all. Uh, mm-hmm. mostly because you can drop them, uh, which yeah. usually, even if you lose an item that gave you a point towards a transformation, you still keep it. Uh, but not here. Uh, yeah, this doesn't work that way. Uh, but just, uh, you know, m- many runs. I've been playing Isaac again, as I mentioned. Mm-hmm. Uh, many runs where I get like two Isaac or two Guppy items. You know, keep the Guppy dream alive, but it doesn't happen. This would help with that. Of course, I haven't gotten it because Tainted Lost. Yep. But I really like the space it plays in. Yeah. And like the Guppy transformation has been a little devalued since Repentance, I feel yes. like. Uh, like the damage output has been nerfed a little bit. Flight is fair, is not the most uncommon effect in the game at this point but it's still nice to have and it's yeah, it's certainly yeah. like giving up a trinket slot in order to have guppy is definitely uh, that's a good trade-off it's still the most powerful transformation by far mm-hmm. you know uh it's still something that is the equivalent of a really really excellent item all on its own 
So then if you get the golden trinket uh, version of this, then you uh, you get two points towards the transformation. So you just won't need one item. Hell yeah. Gary, I got to uh, warn you, I'm about it? to sneeze in a second. Okay. Is oh, this your bit? No, no, this is not my bit. I just feel it floating around in there, uh, and I don't know yeah. when it's going to arrive, and I'm not going to edit it out. Oh, no, you shouldn't. Like, I it feel like it's good. coming. Hey, good. Oh. Interesting. You got an interesting sneeze. I, I know. I do. I Rick all of my, Yeah. It sounded like Yoshi was eating an apple a little bit. It's like the same rhythm. Mm-hmm. Go on. Oh. No, just the... the, 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 the Gary, like, do you yeah, want to sample very... my sneeze for a Modric song? I'm thinking about sampling it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I wasn't going to use it for... I was going to use it for one of my many projects, but I guess I'll do it for a Modric song. Gary, uh, you know, I, I asked the same thing that I ask all of our listeners. Uh, please don't masturbate to it. Oh, my God. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, don't masturbate to that. I mean... If... Um, I don't know. No, you do better. Find a Find a sexier sneeze than that. Hey, fuck off. <laughs> no, I'm saying you just have a very unsexy sneeze, and you could do work if you wanted to, like, yeah, you pimp have out an your sneeze. Face. Huh? Hey, you have an you have an Touché. unsexy dick, asshole. You you've never seen my dick or asshole. I've seen the outline. <laughs> I've seen you walk around in tight pants. We were ro- we were roommates. <laughs> we're roommates. We've seen the outline of all of each other. I've seen your outline inside and out. And I just never said anything because I didn't know we were going for personal attacks. Well, it would have been weird if you would have said something. (laughs) (laughs) It would have changed our roommate relationship. Yeah, we would have had to update the lease. (laughs) That would be incredible. Hey, man, I couldn't help but notice the outline of your dick. It doesn't seem right sexy. You want to talk about it? Yeah, just just have a a frank discussion. Yeah, let's go stand around the kitchen. You make an omelet. We address the flaws of my dick. Omelets are good, Gary. Your egg aversion is another problem I have with you. We're really airing the grievances. Uh, Okay. Yeah? No, I was going to say, I I like an egg if you added, like, if you put it over potatoes or something. I just don't like them by themselves. I know. Gary, I know. It's litigated. It's litigated. You're, it's depressing. Well, I think egg aversion is perhaps a little bit reductive. Well, I think your dick's unsexy, so. (laughs) I think your dick is reductive. Get a little, get, it does get a little smaller every day. I need to talk to the doctor about that. Uh, yeah, Gary, it's weird. Want... Eventually, it's going to turn out backwards and just start hanging out the back. Yeah, I'm going to have a tail. I'll and, just start pissing yeah. up my ass. Yeah, it's going to be great. I'm looking forward to that because the convenience, like the cloaca life is incredibly Steve Jobs. Like you you just get everything go. You don't have to think about it anymore. That is like the most depressing indie game, cloaca life. It's just like <laughs> yeah, it's, every day yeah. you just barely scrape together enough stuff to fill your cloaca. Yeah. It was a really big uh, in the Games for Change movement, though. It was a real front runner. You're the you know? only person on the planet who I ever hear reference cart life anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me and Cole reference it both. Yeah, it's a shared thing. Yeah, uh, uh, Gary, you want to you want to do my little game I came up with for today? Hell yes, I do. I would like to play a game. Uh, so Gary, here's the game. I want you, and we can go back and forth a couple rounds, to say the word. That you think the fewest people have said as their last word, but at least one person has said as their last word. Oh, okay. It's a thinker. Um, I might have to edit out some thinking time. Yeah, it is a it is a thinker, but I like it. I like it because it started. Uh, I'll I'll give you my first one, and I'm not confident that this one qualifies. But it's it. But it's the one that got me thinking about the question. It's Venga Bus. Do so you think somebody has said Venga Bus as their last word? That's I'm I'm not sure, but I think there's a possibility. Okay. They probably I, I was going to go safer than that and say like kale. Kale's a good one. Kale's a good one. Yeah. Um, Cuz I, I somebody might have gotten drowned in it or something. Uh like there's cuz there's lots of like there's lots of words that obviously are like uh scared you mother smother mom, sorry help. Yeah. Oh help god so many how that's help is a real sad one. That's like yeah. saying your favorite. No. Band. <laughs> well, help is like saying your favorite band is the fucking Beatles. Yeah. Or like saying your favorite Beatles album is fucking help. God, those people. Um, <laughs> revolver yeah. also probably pretty common. <laughs> revolver. <laughs> 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 Just nothing for the white album. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Abbey Road's probably up there. 
Somebody right. might have said Abbey Road is their last word, but well, not very many. Gary, you're aware Abbey Road's two words. I didn't realize we we're going to play compound word games. <laughs> it's not a compound right. word. It's two fucking I, words. I know. Um, <laughs> Nothing has been compounded. Compound. Mm, oh, that's probably a lot of people, though, with chemistry stuff. <laughs> like, who died in chemistry? And now afterwards. I wish I had not eaten that compound. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> I imagine that's that's probably like the third or fourth most common thing but somebody or, says. Or, Gary, it's time to assault that compound. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's yeah. a way better one. You know, you know what I was going to say is I thought would be rare, but uh, is actually probably really common. Uh-huh. I was going to move into um, like conjunction words like and. But I imagine that's actually incredibly common. Oh, for sure. Like somebody was going to do another thought and never got to it. Yeah, very poor. Or, you know? Uh, And then there's ones that probably happened a lot on one day and then not on any others, like Tower. 9-11! Yeah, (laughs) 9-11! I can't believe it's me. I died on 9-11. 9-11's too late. (laughs) It's a number. I can't believe I died on 911. Um, yeah, 11th is probably huge. Uh, I'm having a great day here on November 11th. <laughs> 11th is the biggest one. Is a real September. One. Fuck. I, I just failed the maze, Gary. I just failed the maze. <laughs> Ides was a big one. Um, <laughs> one time. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's, that's the, that's the game. Yeah. That's the remit. Yeah. Um, I, Ides is one. I'm having um, a really good yeah. Ides. Yeah, the uh Oh Brutus. Brutus. Brutus, Brutus is a good one. Brutus. Brutus is one. Uh yeah. Um er uh that was probably one. Uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to think of known deaths now at this point. <laughs> oh, it's good. It's good. <laughs> Gonna have some very good barbecue later, Jackie. Er uh, er, uh <laughs> Yeah. Er uh and that, of course, was the um, death of Diamond Joe Quimby from The Simpsons. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, they, they're finally killing off characters, one per episode this season. Gary, what about um, fart? Ooh, that's probably a pretty good for the for the remake because I bet you somebody said it, like somebody's apologized yeah. for it, like they're losing control of their bowels. Oh yeah, and like I bet you in a real scary situation, you know, your reflexes to be polite probably still kick in even though it's not really important anymore. Yeah. I know that if I were dying and I started farting, I would still apologize for the farts, even though I was dying. (laughs) Yeah. You know? Um, yeah, that's a good one. Um, uh, how, well, Gary, my brain just went morbid and sad. So I think that's as much of a game as I'm going to get. I, I started thinking about actual last words I've heard. So, Oh, well, that's no fun. <laughs> that, that seems less fun than you might think, Will. <laughs> yeah, no, I know, Gary. That's why I'm trying to pull the plug. I, here, let me let me get this last, this will course correct us a little <laughs> of bit. Of course, Gary. What, what certainly do, continue the bit, please. What do you think about, uh, uh, like, they, like, like, a, like, a, like a very pleasurable moan. Yeah, Gary, no, I knew that was your, I knew that was your cum moan. <laughs> yeah, that's my cum moan. We were roommates. You've seen the outline of my cum moan. Gary, come on. You, Gary walked around in his kimono. Yeah, in my kimono and pumba uh, outfit. Um, See, Gary, kimono is a real piece of clothing you could have worn. Kimono and pumba outfit is nothing. <laughs> that was just come you already having pumba? a joke loaded up and then trying to shove it into the structure of my joke. I I I disagree. <laughs> I think it's a rich vein of outfits. <laughs> Tell me more about your kimono and p- p- outfit. It's it's a it's a costume where you get to be both of them, okay. and get but but pimone is spelled get like cummone. Okay, yeah, yeah. So it's a so, and is this like them as animals, or is this like what they would wear? Like if if you were if someone was doing oh. one of those art challenges, like what if Timon and Pumbaa were people? This was this was dressing up as them for Halloween. Okay, in my in my mind, yeah. So it's less an outfit, more a um, costume. Well, I feel like that's a kind of one of those differences without too much of a distinction. It has, it has a complete and total distinction. A costume is <laughs> like... <laughs> God, Gary, I think Jay Leno's spirit just came into me. I got to news. <laughs> oh, no. I've uh, been possessed. 
Give me a car. Somebody give me a car. Uh, is he alive? Did you check? Uh, you know, I didn't actually check. I'm sure he's fine. Well, no. Okay. I mean, I'm sure his face is badly burnt. But Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope he... I wish him a good face heal. As, here he is, do I. Uh, if people like the show, what should they do? Uh, they can uh, go to patreon.com slash duckfeedtv to support the whole network. Good shows, too. Uh, mm-hmm. Prayers up. Mm-hmm. Prayers up for the Leno. Uh, and then uh, they can leave us a rating or review. Uh, hypothetically, they help, help people find the show. I don't think that's ever actually happened. Uh, no, because it's the same six perverts, like writing <laughs> reviews over and over. Oh, okay, contrary, so, Gary. I've got a, one from a new pervert today. New, new pervert alert. Uh, so this is someone uh, who... Uh, hopped onto one of my streams the other day, and then the weirdos who regularly watch my streams were so weird about a new person coming on <laughs> that they drove them away. <laughs> uh, which I say only because this the uh, this is Spider Pig 07 joined Will's stream was called Bill. I still don't know who Bill is. Five out of five stars would watch again. That's I I find that genuinely beautiful. <laughs> Don't let the sun sit on you here, stranger. It was more just like <laughs> we're watching that... somebody play puzzle games. <laughs> we're watching Fortnite. We're watching Three's a Fool. Don't don't let the sun sit on you. It's Resident Evil Four. Well, I was referencing one of your old puzzle games you played. Yeah, but you didn't say the name right. I know, but I also couldn't remember what you're playing now. That's okay, Gary. Gary, it's okay. You don't no. need to know about my streams. Yeah, I just need to hear about them. On the show, not that much. No, I'm happy to hear about no, them. Gary, I, tried not I didn't to, know. I tried to, I'm sorry, Gary. I'm sorry. That came out like a complaint, and I didn't mean it to. Gary, I'm sorry. But now it's too late. Stri- I'm sorry. I talked about my stream so much, Gary. I want you to self promote. I, Gary, I don't, I don't, I just don't want to make you uncomfortable. Okay, I don't want you to be. Un- it seems like you're uncomfortable right now with me talking about my stream. So I'm I've never been more comfortable. I'm feeling so fucking comfortable right now. <laughs> I'm so relaxed. Will twitch.tv slash plumber duck. Mm-hmm. I stream on uh, Friday, Twitch Saturday, slash TV Sunday. slash Plumber Dick. So that doesn't help. <laughs> um, That's actively well, unhelpful. They might, they, they might end up at a, a fun thing and see some cool stuff, though. You know you what, know? Gary? That's a good point. Uh, go, uh, <laughs> yeah, go to patreon.com slash uh, duckfuck TV. Dickfuck, please. Oh, man. It's been a day, you know? It's it's a real two weird faces day, yeah. It's a it's this a one's weird more wistful. I looked up on this one. The other one I looked to the yeah. side when I was upset, and this one I looked up <laughs> as though appealing to God <laughs> to make this better. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can, and I'm sorry. <laughs> that's a, that's probably a very frequent last word. Yeah, no. I'm doing can. Yeah, I'm doing the best I can is a very sad last. Yeah. I'm sorry to keep going. I, no, no, it's good, Gary. Uh, I'm just, you know, uh, you ever heard, you ever watched anybody die? Um, not right in the moment now. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, it's an experience. It It is. And I was not deliberately bringing that back after you hit the X No, card, it's good, Gary. Apologize. We can talk about it. You want to talk about it, being in the room when it, someone's it, mom has to t- say, turn off the machine? Nope, it doesn't seem good. (laughs) And also, it was an accident. It doesn't seem good to me either, no. Uh, But it's content. It is content. And I, you know what? You can, like, make me feel as bad about this as you want. But I know in my heart of hearts, it was an accident. (laughs) Yeah, I know it's an accident too, but more important, it's content. (laughs) um, Well, that also feels like it's condemning me because I (laughs) did it for content as a... as a reflex it. i'm the one who said it all right mm, okay <laughs> damn it <laughs> no ghost oh oh no ghost that'd be a great thing to say <laughs> <laughs> yeah